after I had children, I know that um, uh, the old hospital was still here. So Miss um, Little was the superintendent in that little old hospital, and she asked me to get a group of young women together to form a junior auxiliary, which we did, and we had a very active group for 10 years. And um, we were all young mothers with children, and we used to meet mostly at people's houses. And we did raise a lot of money for the hospital, and that's why the new one, the one that was built in uh, 1952, I believe, um, uh, it, it's there today and it's still being used. Um, I know my second son, Jim, he was born in that hospital and he was the second baby born in that hospital. Uh, Robert had been born in the uh, old Niagara Hospital as well as myself. We, we got, uh, we had the first rummage sale that was ever had in town. Uh, one of our members, uh, she had were, she'd been from St. Catharines and they'd had one there and we did get a lot of stuff brought in and we made a lot of money because a lot of the old farmers in town were sending big crates of things overseas to some of the uh, people that had been so hard hit in the war and um, they used to buy all kinds of things. I remember the one man even bought the corsets that Slady brought in and <laughs> he was sending them to Poland and it was, it was a very educational uh, things that we had. There were some beautiful things and um, we made quite a bit of money doing that. Uh, we had it on the main street in a little shop that had been a vegetable shop and uh, uh, we had stuff packed to the rafters. We got so much stuff and we did that I think for about five years and then we quit doing that because then one of the churches started doing it. I know that um, we had, uh, <clears throat> we, we also um, sold cookbooks. Uh, we didn't, um, it wasn't our recipes, that they were from a, a lab tech out in uh, out west and they were all nurses that had put them in and uh, I still have my little book from that. It, I, I've used it so much, it's all just called.